So Tesla just announced a huge expansion of their order of NVIDIA N1 chips, and I guess compute power is the name of the game. Uh, what does it all mean? We don't know, but we're here to find out. That's why I am joined as seldom by the uh, pretty amazing Randy. Uh, I'm Brian, welcome to my Tesla weekend. <laughs> I am working on becoming more and more amazing because, you know, if, if, I, if, if you, I'm going to get an invite back, I know I have to up my game. You do. You do. You really do, Randy. <laughs> so the thing is, uh, there are a lot of companies that think they can crack FSD. If you recall, in 2012, there were a dozen, two dozen companies that all said, we're going to have it level four, level five by 2020. And not just us, but everyone's going to have it. Uh, and then by and even in as late as 2016, these companies were reiterating these targets. Nissan very ambitiously said 2020, and they reiterated that through probably 2016 or 17 before quietly abandoning it. We saw Comma AI on the verge of a breakthrough every every six months. We've almost got it, but that's the bear of the of the March of Nines. And now we're realizing the true magnitude of the problem. Even this week, we saw a, a cruise vehicle in San Francisco decide, you know what? I get that you're having a street fair and that there's barricades, but maybe I'd like to drive in there anyway. And it just pulls up and stops and pedestrians are like, are you, are you going to kill me? Maybe. Haven't decided. Uh, I'll check. And then the cars get stuck. These cars get stuck all the time. So... Somebody's going to get the right approach. Tesla seems to be of the mind that more compute is better. Does that sound right? Well, that's what they've said. All, well, when I say they've said that all along, I can't, I can't, I, I don't have enough memory storage <laughs> and maybe not enough compute uh, to go back in time. I know you can even go forward in time and I'm, I'm just trying my best to go back in time. Um, but my recollection has, it, it seems that at least for three or four years, they've been saying it's all a matter of storage and data and compute. Those three things, if we have enough data, we have enough storage and we have enough compute, we're going to, we're going to make it happen. So um, this has been an issue. Uh, but then there was this new thing that came along, which I had to do a lot of studying because, you know, I'm trying to up my game. <laughs> I had to do a lot of studying to figure out this whole business of plateauing. And apparently each method that Tesla was using would plateau at a certain point, and then they would need another round of either methodologies and or compute and or data and or storage in order to overcome the plateau. But So the first problem is a lot of companies don't have the data yeah. or the data. Whichever, whichever one you're going to annoy me about in the comments, I welcome it. Uh, please type below which one is correct, uh, but don't type it phonetically. Just type it normal. And let me know. And uh, yeah, for that matter, double check that you're actually subscribed because apparently people have been being unsubscribed uh, by YouTube. So do that. Uh, but the, a lot of companies can't gather the data. They don't have the ability. They don't have the... Where were they? Yeah. Where, where, they don't have well, the cameras on the cars. Oh, yeah. Right. So Google's approach, Waymo's approach was outfit cars with sensors and pay humans to drive them around endlessly. And what a mess that is. Uh, I don't know much about the cluster that Tesla is using for the N1s, but I know what kind of cluster F that is. So it's different. It's a different kind of cluster. And if you look at, so that's just the data gathering. And what it's not necessarily doing is training. It's not training properly. Uh, one thing we were able to kind of piece together is the safety score may have been a method of uh, filtering out which drivers to not train on. We want to train on the 98s and 99s, not the why, 36s. Which is why I've had such a hard time ever getting my number up. <laughs> is it? Uh, I just assumed it was because... Um, you know, I just assume that everyone in Southern California drives like Dan and aims for mannequins. Um, 
what you need to do is just see fewer mannequins, I guess, is yeah. is the key takeaway there. Or, like Dan, learn better juggling, maybe high wire. I don't know I don't know what a clown does in his free time. But I assume Dan loves juggling balls. He must. That's all I can that's all I can deduce. So when they're adding more compute, is there <laughs> Is there such a thing, in your opinion, as having too much compute? You can have too much data, but can you have too much compute? Well, you can have too much data compared to your compute. Yes. So if you have that much data, especially the data that they're gaining now, this three-dimensional video type data that they're, that they're gathering uses up a lot more storage and compute. So now you've got, how can you manage all of that data data and both either or how can you get how, how can you how can you possibly handle all that make sense of it and then turn around and use it to train well you need a tremendous and apparently one cluster of 10,000 uh, h1s m1s and ones and ones h1 and ones <laughs> <laughs> i I hope they're not training on that. I don't remember. I is you know really it's a whole business of keeping up, don't you think? I mean, come on, I do. it has to be for you. As brilliant as you are, there has to be now there you. now there is. So I was talking with a gentleman the other day, at the car show, uh, uh, Ron. Uh, he's a an, a an engineer who had some really great ideas on how we could use AI to make the driving experience better, regardless of FSD, and that is. You know, let's say you and your wife both approach the same car. It'll read both of your phones, won't it? Yeah. But why do I even need my phone? If I get to the side camera and it can see me, yeah. it'll go, oh, that's Randy. And when you and your wife hop in and you both, again, you've both got your phones, maybe you both slap them on the charger. It's got an internal cabin. It knows who's sitting in the driver's seat. Just set it to Randy's profile. Yeah. And if you're not randy or if you're randy on halloween and you've got a costume on and it says who's this it should just go into a default setting and pop up a screen that says do you want to use an existing profile or set up a new one because yeah. i don't i don't know who you are and that would be a very uh elegant use of not even radical i mean this is established Simple technology stuff. yeah 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 Simple stuff by tesla standards well by by just even tech standards anybody could do this Tesla's the only one who it's likely to actually put in <laughs> Pay the Pay attention work. to begin with. Pay attention to begin with. So, do you think this spells bad news for the progress they're making with Dojo? If they're buying all these chips from NVIDIA, does that mean Dojo itself could be having unforeseen problems? Well, there's absolutely no reason to cast that out as a possibility. On the other side of the coin, Unless I'm completely ignorant, and there's a, there's a real good chance of that. <laughs> there's, there's a non-zero chance. <laughs> non-zero mm -hmm. chance of that. That uh, that uh, dojo is basically, you know, you you've made one, uh, you can now make two, or you've made eight, you can now make nine. So I'm not sure why that would be the case. I would probably would be more inclined to think that they have figured out that there's a real application where another cluster or whatever it is that they're buying. Of, uh, of NVIDIA would be useful somewhere for some reason. And even if, uh, the big thing right now is time. Waiting for Dojo is time. <laughs> is, that, is that a movie? <laughs> yes, uh, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Waiting for uh, Guffman and Dojo <laughs> in the Dojo is, is a real movie, I have decided. Uh, apparently my dinner with Andre is a movie that I was in. Uh, I, I'm told periodically that I look like Wally Shawn, which well, is a tremendous do, compliment. If you decide to do the movie Waiting for Dojo, just remember who gave you the idea. Uh, yes, you would get all the blame, rest assured. <laughs> so the, but the thing is, if time is critical, and it is, there's no harm in this being your, your plan A. Just take plan B and move it to plan A. We've still got Dojo as plan B. When it comes online, that will only increase our opportunities. And if we solve FSD today or tomorrow, solve is uh, a bit of a tricky word. 
it'll still be a work in progress. Even though it is done, done, it can still get better. And that much compute would be needed to make it that much better because we are at the March of Nines and those last Nines are real, real sticky. And then for that matter, then we would, if it's, let's say we've got all the Nines, let's say it is solved forever, which it isn't. Then you go into another market where the road, not just the rules are different, but the style, the habits, the behavior is different. We now have to model that. And that it could be a, an almost equally big challenge in each country. We don't know because we can't know because that eventuality is over the horizon. And let's say you genuinely end up with too much compute. Sell them. Yeah. yeah. Sell them. Yeah. You won't get full price out of them, but those chips will hold a percentage of their value for a time, and this a, cost is not killing them. I have a sense that they're never going to have too much compute. I mean, I was reading a guy the other day. I can't remember where it was. I didn't, I didn't make note of it at the time, but now that I'm thinking, and he was talking about the amount of compute that just Starlink needs to avoid moving objects in space that could damage a Starlink. Um, to avoid each other, to avoid uh, you know, all kinds of things. Just that amount of compute alone is massive. Then mm. he started talking about, I don't know, some little company called X that's going to need heard of it. some amount of compute in order to deal with payments and deal with <laughs> and all kinds of things that they're getting into. Um, sounded like they might need a little bit. Um, sure. And that's just talking about, you know, oh, Neuralink, I don't know, could... could completely understanding the brain take a tad a little bit some small amount and you do need to remember these are separate companies but they can uh buy from one purchase another. and lease uh equipment and services from each other spacex does purchase from uh tesla on a regular basis because tesla makes electric motors and actuators that are valuable to spacex um there is some sharing that goes on that is not revenue based, but um, oh, for make, goods. Make sure, but make sure it's all recorded because the SEC is all. Well, and, yes, yes. And yes, and not just the SEC, but the FCC and all the different three letter agencies. They've got, uh, yes, and when it comes to X, so these this compute is for, is for AI. It's not regular compute, it's configured differently, but beating spam bots is an AI problem. Uh, cracking down on fraud is an AI problem that requires AI. And a lot of these things that you're talking about require AI. So I think that's the solution. And just like the, the idea of having too much compute, it's like saying I have uh, too much memory storage. If you ever believed that, um, you were quickly disabused of the notion as soon as your <laughs> internet speed got better or your camera got better and you realized, I have no storage at all. Oh. Yes, it always works that way, doesn't it? It does, well, so far it does. The beauty is, when it comes to electric cars, when it comes to autonomy, we are in the infancy. This is as exciting as the early 90s was for computers, where every six months looks very different. Battery technology is moving very quickly. Motors are approaching a maximum, but there's still more efficiency to be gained than there is in internal combustion, for sure. And the same is true of autonomy. We can't criticize the one company that's actually pushing out products while forgetting to criticize the other 20, 30 companies that also said they, they would definitely have it solved three years ago, most of whom closed shop. And if you're looking at, remember when AI Day 2 happened, Tesla said, here's our approach to an intersection. And they showed how it all works. And immediately, Comma AI lost their, their CEO and Algo AI shut down because they went to their engineers and said, what's your approach and how does it and what's your result? And they said, this is our, oh my God, that's what you're doing. Okay, we're out. Ground. Oh, oh, you mean? Oh, you mean you're not taking into consideration the thing that's behind the object, and that it might still be there, and that, you, that it might right. be moving. <laughs> right. Your your approach is, if Tesla's approach has yet to crack that last nine that's critical for operation, you don't stand. We don't stand a chance. And you see people saying, 
looking at the bot demo and saying, well, uh, you know, you can, you can download a script for a robotic hand that sorts by color today. You can do that. You can do it yourself. You can yeah. buy it, right. DIY it in your garage. Right. But what you can't do is say, uh, now flip them all over. Yeah, right. <laughs> and it have it, 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 it. Okay, do you have a do you have a program written for that? No, of course not. Now arrange them by size. That's not a th now stack them. That's not part of it. And that's the critical difference. No one said dexterity was impossible. Right. They said it's costly, and so far not relevant because we don't have the brains to actually put it into use. Uh, no one said that sorting colors was impossible. They said, the difference isn't the robot itself. The difference is the brain. Right, right. So. Absolutely. So what did we miss? What did we misunderstand? Uh, I don't know. Maybe Randy knows, but he won't tell us. Not until next week when I probably have him back on. So for everybody else, Only you know. I'm up my game. Oh, Randy, you have to up your game. <laughs> yeah, it, it drives me crazy. The The... Some of the trolls you find on X are so lazy. Trolling used to be an art form where you would say something that was just on the brink of plausible but had a fundamental misunderstanding and everyone would tear out the pitchforks and say, no, you don't get it because. And now it's just trash. It's lazy, unimaginative garbage. And you get the, <laughs> the, very, the very successful and professional trolls, the ones who make a living off making people dumber who say things like who's going to repair all the roads and bridges because EVs cost uh, way 50% more to which I put in. I said, here's the curb weight of a model three. Here's the curb weight of a BMW three series. Guess which one's heavier <laughs> yes. here. Yeah. Here's a, here's a model X versus an X five. Guess which one's heavier. It's, but I did, these are, but I, did, but I did note, Brian, I did note that you said that this is driving you crazy. And somebody did tell me that for you, that's a short trip. Yeah. It is from here and there's no traffic. Yeah. So uh, for everybody else, stay tuned, stay juicy. And I can't wait to hear from you clever robots in the comment section of my videos over on uh, Randy Kirk's channel. Uh, link in the description. <laughs> you are all jittery. <laughs> Still? Let me see. After I stop doing that? Um, just just move a little bit for me. No, you're back. You're fine. It's a shame because that was hilarious. It <laughs> would have required some troubleshooting. I, I did hit start recording so that I can add it to the end for you folks who hang out. You're welcome. <laughs>